Okay, so for part two of this, uh, now that we've uh, stamped those layers, I'm going to do some more healing. So you can see we've got these little boys here, and then we've also got that uh, area which still looks a bit off. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to remove uh, those little distractions. Wrong brush, let me try that again. The heel brush and remove all these little distractions that we've got around the place and then also this area here I'm going to heal that so it blends in better with the rest of the water if you don't like it uh, how it heals the first time around you just run the brush over it a couple of times it'll start to make it look a little bit better and same same here at the top Yep, that's good. Right now, now what I've also got is we've got a, a whole pile of other little boys sitting out here in the water as well, which just look like specks um, in the image. So I'm just going to deal with each of those. actually got a bit of a ghost going on there from, from uh, the other layer from one of the boats remove that one you can see how effective this tool is and just any little distractions that on the image oh we've got a dust spot which has appeared there so we'll remove that one And then, oh, there's a decent one down the bottom left here as well, so I'll remove that. You can see uh, how well uh, that has now cleaned up the image and all those little dots and areas where it didn't quite blend uh, now look a lot better. Now, when I'm looking at it, I actually find this boat that's sitting right on the edge of frame to be distracting as well because it's half a boat, so I'm actually going to remove that. Now if your uh, heel tool isn't working quite as well as you like, remember you've always got the clone option and you can select a source uh, where you want to uh, duplicate into the area that you're trying to heal. Usually try and find a spot that's uh, close and then that way it's going to be of similar colour and uh, similar uh, tones. Okay. So now that we've done that, we've stamped it, we've healed it, we've blended that water so it's smooth. Now we, uh, I'm going to look at straightening that horizon and then seeing how we're going with the uh, positioning within the frame. So we grab the crop, click on the crop, click on the straighten click on the edge of the horizon and then drag it across the horizon release and then that's going to straighten it up for us now we can see here that that's um, actually quite good on that uh, top third line there so I'm not really going to worry about uh, shifting that frame at all now remember don't have delete crop pixels checked otherwise once you've cropped it's going to be destructive and if you change your mind you're not going to be able to do anything about it uh, you can have content aware checked so that if you get any of this uh, area around the outside that you can see the uh, the white and the gray checking so there's no information there it can uh, try and do its best to fill that area for you so I'm going to tick uh, to accept that straightening and there's no cropping required. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to duplicate this layer. Once again, right click on it, duplicate layer. And I'm going to call this sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask it, once again clicking down the bottom right corner. 
I'm going to erase all the information that's down the bottom. So using the paintbrush, making sure we're on black there. Opacity is at 100, so I'm happy with that. Remember, we can use the two brackets on the keyboard next to the P key to erase information. Now, at the moment, it doesn't look like anything's disappearing because I've got two layers which are exactly the same. The only way that we know the information has been removed is because over here we can see the black on the bottom and the white on the top. And if I turn those bottom layers off, we can now see that I've actually erased something. So I'm going to refine this a touch. Now you're probably wondering why at this stage I'm erasing this. It's because I'm actually going to manipulate the uh, the sky here and I'm going to free transform this and stretch that cloud a bit so that that uh, dog leg of the cloud is actually going to stretch down to where the, um, the jetty meets the horizon. I'm going to make sure that that brush is nice and soft. Okay. Alright, I'll play with that a little bit after. Okay, so with this layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Edit free transform. Now what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to uh, click and drag and manipulate that uh, layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag it downwards and then I'm going to drag it outwards just to stretch that cloud and then drag it down a bit more so that cloud is going to be over the top of the jetty. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. So you can see, if I zoom back in where that jetty is, I've got to, um, once again, uh, paint out that top layer um, and blend it back in a bit better. But you can see that uh, that cloud is now a little bit bigger, dominating. And then that dog leg is going to meet down at the end where the jetty is. So I'm going to tick yes for that. Because I'm happy with that. Make sure I click back on the mask, get my brush, and I'm just going to remove that information. And then I'll be able to blend it. Now, what I can do is I can increase the brush size. And what that's going to do is it's going to have that soft edge extend further out and it makes it blend a little bit better. It makes it easier for the blend. Now we can see here, if I remove that, I've gone from that cloud being sitting up high in the sky to now I've extended that cloud, I've made it bigger. I'm going to make it pop um, a little bit more uh, later on but uh, you can see the difference that's made. Actually now looking at it, I think it's a little bit low, so I might, so if you uh, click to my move tool, and I'm now using my up key to just shift that up a little bit on the horizon, and that looks a bit better there. Okay, so once again, coming around to the uh, 10 minute mark. Uh, so what we've done on this bit, we've uh, we're finished blending and then healing all the spots, making that water nice and smooth. And we've also done a exposure adjustment, which is affecting only that layer. Uh, we've then duplicated and then free transformed the sky to get that cloud sitting where we want. And then we've just blended it in, using that nice big brush with the soft edge, so that way it uh, it sits a well on the horizon there. Let's see how we go next for part three.